Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Drake and I'm back today with another video. So as I keep in time down below, we are back at it. We are back at it again. I have another Shein haul for y'all. I'm super excited for this one. I'll just hop right into it, y'all. Honestly, there's a lot of hauls that I have for y'all coming up. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the notification bell because like I said, if you like hauls, there's a whole lot more of these coming in the next few weeks in rotation for y'all. But I have this bag for this haul. Honestly, y'all, I got this a lot of months ago. I can't, like I don't even really remember what's in this bag. I will say a lot of the stuff from this bag is from Shein's Dollar Festival sale that they had like earlier on in the year when it was festival season and that's when they had like a whole lot of like festival type of stuff that they were selling for a dollar every single day for like a week if y'all want to know when those dollar sales comes up follow me on tiktok because that's usually where i let y'all know about these different sales and all those stuff while it's happening but i honestly just chose a lot of random stuff that i saw for a dollar i know some of these for a fact are going to be too small for me and i also know some of these for a fact are going to be too big for me but i was just trying to get into it and see what i could style so that's what this is and before we jump into the video because y'all know i love to help y'all save a little bit more coins when y'all are shopping on shein i want to share with y'all a super special reference code just for y'all to help y'all save a little bit more money and y'all this is a stackable code so i'm gonna put something on the side of the screen probably over here probably over here it's going to show you exactly how to use this code because it's not your typical coupon code that you would enter in when you're at your cart it's actually a reference code that you'll put into your account but the code is us 39248s and this is my special campus ambassador code just for you all i'm a campus ambassador for shein and that means that i get to share some of the things that i have tried with y'all and hopefully y'all can try some of those things as well and you'll save a little bit of extra coins it will give you a discount on every order and purchase over 29 dollars and it's going to apply to every single thing once you put this into your account you don't have to worry about it for another three months if you don't shop in three months then you have to add it again but just come back over here and you'll figure out how to do it and it's on my instagram and all that other good stuff but let me stop rambling i will tell y'all more about the code later on at the end of the video but let's hop right into this haul and see what we got okay so we're gonna start with the non-clothing items first like i said this order was super random so i kind of just threw a whole lot of random stuff into it the first thing that we have is actually this like little thing that's supposed to help you with cutting like onions and random stuff in the kitchen i got this because me and my sister we've been meal prepping since the beginning of this year and honestly like at least like like you know you could cut a bell pepper all that stuff that stuff is cool but onions at least for me onions and the way my eyes are set up it just don't work out i don't like cutting onions because like it's not even that i start crying but my eyes start to sting and all that sort of stuff so typically i put my sister on onion duty and i know onions make your hands and all that sort of stuff stink so i was like let me be nice let me be cute and get her something or even like if i had to cut onions at least this will help me from not having to use my hands as much so basically it's just you would put the onion you would stick the onion in here and then in these like lines you just slice on those so that you can get an easier cut so i'm actually super excited for this it feels like good material nothing is really like bending out of place or anything so i'm curious to see how long this is going to last without it like messing up or anything or like it like rusting or breaking but the way it feels right now it's actually pretty heavy duty i will say like it's not it doesn't feel cheap or anything the next thing that i got is i've been trying to get into reading more ever since last year just trying to get back into things that i used to like when i was younger because i feel like i've been getting stressed a lot and it's like i have to go back to finding things i like but to say that is especially when we go on like trips and family vacations I've liked to read at night but staying in the same room with like everybody else and things like that I don't want to like have to turn the light on at night when everyone else is trying to sleep so I thought it was super cool to get like this little light panel sort of situation so let's say you're reading your book it's at night the lights are off so you can't really see the words or anything so you just take this and then let me see if I can turn the light off for y'all. So this is gonna help because I do have some trips coming up soon. So this is gonna be cute. I think it's gonna be nice for me to like 
still be able to read at night without like straining my eyes or anything. Okay, so that's all for the non clothes items. Now we're gonna get into the clothes stuff. And like I told y'all, some of these things may fit, some of these things may not. We're just gonna see as we go through them. Okay, so this is the first item. It's just this nice little leather dress with like a skater girl, skater sort of skirt bottom part to it. This is really cute, but I will probably most likely not be wearing this unless I get it altered. Like I told y'all, a lot of these things, because it was on the $1 sale, they're only like certain sizes or things sell out really quick. And I really wanted to just try different things, try new styles, especially if it's a dollar. This is in a 1XL and y'all know, I'm typically like a large medium. So this is just a little too big. Like right now, it's okay. Like it fits very relaxed, but this is just not the fit that I would personally like for a dress like this. I might get it altered maybe if I don't just give it away to someone, but I would, I would have wanted it to fit a little more like snug here in the abdomen area so that it couldn't be like a nice throw out. But I will say this skirt part is really cute for like a lot of dresses, especially like this. Maybe it's because it's in a larger size, but I know at least for me, I struggle with just the back part not being long enough, but this is long enough to where I still feel like I could dance and do stuff and twirl and twist around without feeling like I'm gonna give everybody a show or something. So I honestly would suggest this. It's really cute, especially like regardless if it's festival season or not, I will say, it is leather, however, it's not like, it is a little warm, but it's not super, super really hot leather sort of vibe. If you've worn leather pleather stuff before, you know sometimes when you wear leather, it gets really hot, really sweaty, and that's not how this one is at all, but it could also just be because, you know, it is a tank top and a dress, so there's lots of air circulation and flowing. Um, just to get up to y'all a little bit more of the details, there are these little lines in it. I know it's a little wrinkly, but when I do these hauls, it's a straight unboxing, straight from the bag, and I put it on. Not do nothing crazy to it, not dressing it up, none of that, because I'm gonna try to see exactly how it's gonna be if y'all were to also get it. But it just has these little lines on it, which would be really cute, like I said, if it was um, fitted, it would be really cute like that. Kind of give you like a bustier, almost sort of um, corset sort of vibe right here. And then the back, don't mind the bra, <laughs> the back is a zipper back. So it should be pretty easy to get in and out. And honestly, like I said, I really do love this skirt. It's really cute. So if I don't get it altered, I probably will just end up giving it away. It was a dollar and I can't return it because like I said, I bought this months ago. I'm sure I'm outside of the return period. But this is a nice little, um, nice little, leather dress that could be worn for anything you could dress this down and or like up to the club or a night out just trying to dress cute with some nice heels you could take this out in the spring i also think you could if you really know how to dress for real for real you could honestly even wear like a nice sweater up under this which i possibly might do because then the extra space would be nice but if you wear like a nice sweater under this in the winter with some nice like over the size arms to or sleeves to it and some nice boots with some like leg warmers or knee high socks that could be a vibe so i don't know maybe maybe i might keep it now that i'm like putting the styles and stuff together in my head it could be really cute if i wore it like in the winter with a sweater up under it but yeah this is the first item okay so here are the next two pieces i'm going to start with the top first it's just this mock neck, long sleeve, shimmery, glittery sort of shirt. And it just goes all the way down. Let me untuck it just so y'all can see how far down it goes. Y'all, this is actually really cute. This is in a size medium. And let me look in the mirror. It doesn't really look see-through or anything like that. But if anything, I could just wear it with like an undershirt under. But this is really nice. I do think this is something I could also wear to work. If you are not new to this channel, you know that I work in the event industry. And if you don't think about the event industry, our uniform basically is just all black for event days and stuff like that. So it's really nice to be able to find, or it's a good thing to be able to find 
different ways to style and wear all black and just show a little bit more of your personality in the all black rather than just like wearing a basic tee with some jeans sort of thing. So I really like this and I think it's something that I could wear to work. Let me show y'all the back and the sides. And it kind of has like a little sort of detailing and stuff on the arms but nothing too too crazy it's nice and cute and subtle for some people it might be a little irritating feeling i'm not gonna say it's scratchy per se but you can tell that it's shimmery sort of thing it's nothing too too crazy but i do want to note that it doesn't feel just like a regular sort of shirt because i know there are some people that this might be a little annoying too but for me it's perfectly fine I will say it also does feel breathable. My arms are covered, but like, I don't feel super hot, especially compared to like the leather dress. I don't feel hot in this at all. I really like it and it's stretchy as well. So depending on what fit you're going for, just know this shirt is stretchy. So you could go a size down if you want a more snatch look, or you could size up if you want something that's a little more relaxed. Now onto the skirt. Y'all, let me tell y'all, let me do a little tear up for y'all in the skirt. I am super excited about this skirt because if you are not a video and you've watched some other hauls for me, one of like, one of my first Shein hauls, I tried on two leather skirts. It was a burgundy one and a black one. I still have the burgundy one and it's kind of like a push skirt for me because if you know, I'm working out. Um, but the black one just could not work at all. So I think the black one did either get returned or it got sent to like a donation pile or something like that. I do like to give to shelters and all that sort of stuff with clothes as I'm cycling things through my closet. But um, this fits. Now I will say this is an extra large. Like I said, I got things that were a little bigger, but I think because the thing do be thangin' sometimes, an extra large did actually work really well for this. And I feel like if I got a large, it would have been a little more tight. Like this is not short in the back. Let me show y'all, like it's a very acceptable lift. Like I honestly do feel like I could wear this to work. I probably wouldn't because on event days and stuff, I really like to help as much as I can in skirts. I feel like can sort of kind of constrict you from doing stuff all the time. But depending on what we're doing at work, you know, it could be a cute vibe, but you can also wear this out. I do like the subtle little um, slit in the leg right here. It's nothing too crazy. It's still cute. It doesn't go up too high. And like, it's not gonna show anything wild. I will say there is a zipper on the side for you to get in and out of it, which was super helpful. The only thing for me is because, like I said, I did get this in a size up and my body is shaped differently and I have curves and all that sort of stuff. Although it does fit and look good right here. If I turn to the side, I'm not sure if y'all can tell, but there is a there is a little gap right here in the back. I possibly will see if I can just get the sides right here altered in or something. I did see something on TikTok that I might show y'all. Um, if I do end up getting it, that's just for like quick alterations sort of stuff. So I might do that because I don't think I need to take this all the way up to somebody just to get the sides taken in just a little bit. But this is really nice and I'm super excited. I finally have me a nice shorter leather skirt because y'all know I do also have a longer one that I did for a graduation photo shoot last year. But this, this is nice. And together, I think it pairs really well. I'm really excited about this because like I told y'all, I really don't think that a lot of this stuff in this haul was gonna work for me. So I'm excited that I got something that worked. Okay y'all, here is the next thing that I got. It's just a cover up. I put it on over the outfit before. So nothing too, too special, nothing too crazy. Just this white, um, I guess you call this crochet sort of vibe, dress cover up. This is really cute. Now let me tell y'all, I know I've said that before, if you watch like my wig videos and stuff, my head is a little big. However, it was a little hard to get this over my hair and my head. Like y'all, honestly, like it was, it was a struggle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Granted, because it is a cover up, if I wanted to, I could open up this neck area a little bit more. But other than that, I like it. It comes to a nice length for it to be a cover up dress because it will cover up um, my butt and everything. That's typically what I like when looking for cover ups. It does feel soft as well. So I know like it would keep you at least a little bit warm if you're just coming out the pool. And I know sometimes I like when it gets a little bit darker, it gets a little bit cooler. 
So this is cute. And I honestly did not remember that I put this in this order, but I like it. It's nice for a cute cover up. And I'm sure you could also style this just to wear during the day with the right, either like you could do a nice little bralette up under this and put it up with like some jeans or something. I don't know, it really depends if you're a fashionista girl or a fashionista guy or something that you know how to put some stuff together. But honestly, I like this for a nice little cover up. It's a nice white cover up, which I don't already have. And it comes with sleeves, which keep you nice and warm coming out of the pool. Okay, so here are the next two things. Um, let's start with the bottoms first. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. These are no, they better be happy I can't return them and I only got them for a dollar. But these, and I feel like I kind of knew that when getting it, like I said, when I got this stuff, I was like, okay, it's a dollar. Let me try it, try something new, step outside my comfort zone. But these, I can, I personally, and there's so many thoughts right now, let me just back it up. This is a white skirt, kind of has the cargo sort of jeans vibe to it. The pockets do seem like they are real. Yep, so you could put stuff in these pockets. They're actually cute. And then it has these belt loops and it's just white. But here's the issue. This for me personally, now everybody's cup of tea is different. Some girls might like this and shout out to them. But me personally, when I go out, I like to dance, I like to have a good time. I like to be comfortable. And this skirt is just too short. Like when I told y'all before about how skirts are short, this is too short <laughs> for me. This is in a size large. And I feel like, okay, if I was doing like a photo shoot and this was just something specifically for a photo shoot and like I wasn't going out nowhere, then okay, I would wear this. But right now in this part of my life that I'm in because I'm buying more clothes and all that sort of stuff, I'm trying not to keep things that I can't like actually wear out a whole lot, especially with working and stuff. There's fewer times when I can dress like this <laughs> or something. So honestly, this one is probably gonna get sent to a friend or it's gonna go in a donation um, pile with everything else. But other than that, I will say this is, it feels like pretty good material and fabric. It is actually jeans fabric. Like it, well, it feels like denim. Um, like I said, the pockets work, which is a plus. And it's just cute all around. It's a nice little white sort of vibe. I will say you can see underwear lines in the back if that is something that you don't like or whatever, just be aware of that. But for me personally, if you are someone who is thicker, someone with a butt, I'm just gonna let you know, unless this is the look and style that you are going for, I personally would steer away from this skirt because it's just too short, <laughs> at least for me. Like everybody's different. Other than that, the quality feels amazing and everything works good. There's two buttons up here at the top to get in and a zipper. So yeah. Now onto the top. I'm really liking the top and I would say I was a little afraid of the top only because I had a friend who actually ended up buying this to wear. If you've seen my vlogs, I think it should have been posted by now. Maybe, maybe not. But I have my G-Day vlog from this year. I actually had a friend who wore this exact shirt from Shein. I'm not sure if she had it in this color or if it was in red, um, but she was telling me about how people were saying to size down. I was like, oh dang, I didn't size down in it, but it fits really nice. I'm gonna say I really do like this and I think this would be really cute even with the leather black skirt that I wore earlier. So the top I'm definitely gonna keep is just this nice little halter top, halter crop sort of situation. The back is out. And it fits really well, like nothing has to be changed on this, which is really surprising. I would think if anything, I'd possibly have to like, you know, retie the top. Y'all have seen me do that with bikinis a lot where it's just like, it just doesn't fit. So I have to tie it, but this fits perfectly fine. Like there's nothing that has to change about this top at all. So the top is a 10 out of 10 for me. The uh, material is also really good. I could feel like it doesn't feel thin or anything like that. It feels like very high quality. I don't think it's see-through, but it, then again, I'm wearing a black bra up under this, so I can't really tell, but it doesn't seem see-through. Like when I put in my fingers up under it, there's nothing, um, or at least you can't see visible color. Let me say that. Um, so yeah, the top, 10 out of 10, I would recommend. The bottoms, if you a thick girl and you don't like not being able to really like move around freely or do whatever you gotta do, 
the bottoms are not it at all but for quality and the make of the bottoms those i would say is a 10 out of 10 it's just y'all won't see me wearing these bottoms outside of this haul <laughs> so yeah <laughs> okay so the next item is actually this like bedazzled bralette sort of top it's a little see-through so you do have to wear something up under it i'm just wearing a basic black bra you can adjust it here by the neck i have it over here so you can make it right where you need to up in the front and then for the back there's also a clip right here as well so this whole thing is fully adjustable i got this in a size large though so there are sizes for it even at that this is really cute i'm gonna tell y'all because y'all have seen me with something like this before i think it was for my birthday haul last year i bought something similar to this not this but very similar in, in gold and this feels way better quality and way heavier duty than that one it's not super heavy like how that one was but this doesn't feel like if i were to like pull on it just a little bit that it would break that one felt very very fragile and i felt like i really couldn't move or do anything in it so that one definitely no i did wear that one for a photo shoot but it doesn't get worn a lot because i feel like it's just too fragile but this i think is really cute and it's still like although you do need to wear something under or at least i would personally wear something under it it is still pretty like covered up and the fringe also helps for the stomach area so like yeah it's a crop and it's a bralette but everything is still pretty much covered still i love this because it's bedazzles on it the fringes move nice and well and they don't feel like they'll get broken apart you can wear this on a night out you can wear this for like your birthday you can wear this to a festival to a concert i feel like there's a lot of cute places that you could wear this to and like i said it does feel pretty high quality like i haven't i didn't feel too scared putting it on or anything like that so this is something i'll suggest if you're looking for something with like a little more bedazzle and for like a festival or somewhere you just want to pop out a little bit you know you want to be the little center of attention and this also could be cute for like if you were doing something western theme or like cowgirl sort of theme this could be really cute for that with a little cute hat and some boots i just i'm just trying to help y'all put y'all fits together okay so here is the next thing it's just this nice little tribal print sort of set it comes with this skirt and this sort of bandeau cross neck tie up top let me get into detail things this depends on who you are to me personally i don't mind it it's not like anything super super crazy especially because there is a whole lot of print on here but to nitpick on certain things so i want to give y'all a full and complete honest review on everything the pattern on this is not um symmetrical or it's not like I feel like symmetrical is the word. It's not symmetrical. So let me just pull up to show y'all more of what I'm talking about. So if you look up here at the waistband, you can see that it starts off with blue over here. And then somewhere the blue gets lost. And then even the purple gets smaller and smaller the further you go along. And then when we're talking here at the bottom, same thing with the red. The red is thicker here and then it loses itself completely over here on this side and I thought okay maybe it is like on the like same thing like it's just thicker right here and it's supposed to be smaller on both sides but if you see it over here it does get small but it's still there so just detail wise I would say that and then also the pattern doesn't match itself all the way around because you see these two reds they're not lined up together quality of how this feels is pretty nice it's not thick material it almost sort of kind of it's see through like I can see my carpet through this so I would say you do probably have to be slightly aware of what sort of undergarments you're wearing with it but because there's so many colors and this actually is woven material like it's not fabric or printed on it's actual let me pull it closer so y'all can see but it actually is a nice woven material um I don't think anyone would see any of your undergarments or anything under this but for me personally if i were to wear this it would be like if i was on vacation or maybe like if i'm going to the pool or something like that or the beach 
So I'll probably be wearing it more like a cover up or anything like that or in a place where I could wear like a bikini bottom up under this and it wouldn't look super crazy because I'm on vacation. <laughs> so that's how I feel about the fabric quality and it's pattern quality. The top, um, I can't fully tell because I am wearing my bra up under this, but if y'all know, I do not like to try on clothes that I don't know if I'm returning or not, even though like I said, I can't return on stuff no ways. But I don't like to try on clothes without undergarments because I just feel like it's nasty just in case I do end up returning it and someone else needs to try it on. That's just weird to me. But um, the top feels like it's not necessarily supportive because um, it's just a tie neck. However, I feel like if I was able to buy this separately, that's what I would have done because my top is smaller. So I can't even really pull this any tighter up here without like compromising the how it's supposed to look up here at the top, the design and all of that. So um, I would have gone a size smaller at the top if I could have so that it could be a little bit more supportive. So for this, I'm not sure what I would do. I'd either just deal with it not being supportive <laughs> or I would just tape on each individual side, or like I said, wear it more so like a cover up and have my bikini top up under it anyway. But other than that, this is really cute. I think it's like nice, like I said, for vacation. I like the vibrant colors. I like the vibrant um, tribal prints and all that sort of stuff. I think it's really cute. Let me do y'all a 360. I like the orange in it as well, lightweight as well. So yes, it is woven, but it's lightweight. It's not gonna be anything too, too thick or anything like that. I think my biggest comments for this is the fact that it's not symmetrical. So that could be a quality thing for some people and the sides don't line up on the seam, which I know for some people that is a make or break. Um, and then of course the top, like I said, because it is a set, but this is any set. It's not like a quality thing or like a sheen thing with any set. If you are someone who isn't equal sizes, top and bottom, you're gonna have an imbalance when it comes to the top fitting smaller or bigger than the bottom or anything like that. But I like this. This is definitely something I'm going to keep for a vacation coming up soon. Okay, y'all, so y'all finally made it to the end of this haul. This was a quick one compared to the other one. So shout out to me, shout out to me. But like I said, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell if you like this video, because like I said, there are a lot more hauls coming up. Like there are literally boxes and bags downstairs waiting for me and boxes and bags coming on the way. So there are is definitely gonna be a lot of more hauls for y'all coming up soon, especially if you know you have the same body type like me. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at I'm Sincerely Drew because I post where I wear all these things and when I put these things in fits and all those sort of stuff together. You see all those on TikTok and Instagram, especially TikTok because I post on there literally like all the time. And remember, before I leave, before I leave, I just want to remind y'all of my special reference code for you all because I am a Shein Camp so master. I'm able to share this with you all so y'all can save a little bit more coin to y'all shop on Shein. Once again, I'm going to put the thing either on this side or this side of the screen that just shows y'all how to use this code, but it's a reference code that goes into your account and it will stay with your account for 90 days or up until like you don't really shop with them or anymore and then you'll have to re-put it in again but trust me y'all it does work it does not expire you'll still be able to use it but the code is us 39248s capital us 39248s and like I said, when you put this in on all orders over $29, you'll get an extra $2 off and you're able to stack this on top of any coupon code that you are already using. And I've already showed y'all in previous videos before, but if y'all want me to do another video on Hex on how to save, on how to save more money on Shein, let me know. But you're able to get coupons up to like 20. I've even gotten 30% off on um, Shein before if y'all want me to show y'all how to do that. And you want to make sure you're logging every single day so you can use your points for extra money off. And yeah, I think that's it. Your reference code, your coupon code, and your points. When you have all of those, you're going to be saving a lot on Shein. So I'm just trying to help y'all. I'm just trying to help y'all. Y'all don't got to use it, but I'm just letting y'all know that's how you save more money when you're shopping on Shein. But like I said, I love you all so, so much. I will see y'all in the next video, which is coming really soon. I love y'all. And bye.